so we all know resident evil 9 is going to come out eventually but how soon will it come out while the game itself has not been confirmed by capcom themselves we did have some insiders come out and talk about the game being in the works the game actually exists and it has been in the works for quite some long time now well then should be just another day in the office right so what exactly do we know about it when can we expect an announcement of some sort so according to credible leakers out there within the community within capcom in general apparently these are insiders the game has been in development for quite a long time and it's going to be the biggest budget in franchises history we also know it's coming because of the initial ending for resident evil village and the ending leaving with a cliffhanger that yes we are going to go to bsaa europe at some point in some future timeline in the resident evil series whether it's a game movie we don't know for sure but we can we can assume it's a new game the game is supposed to be called resident evil apocalypse which in my opinion it's an okay name it's just it reminds me of the other resident evil apocalypse and the plot revolves around the nine phases of the moon the game takes place in a ghost town in west of america where the players which is us will have to face deformed creatures such as mythological beings like skinwalkers for example it's going to be tons of caves rivers small towns and camping places kind of reminds me of silent hill back to the creature these creatures are going to be deformed as i said earlier with a heavy emphasis on body horror so we can expect worse or at the same scale as resident evil 2 remake and resident evil 4 remake when it comes to their body horror so these mythological creatures will have horns and will be considered skinwalkers goat men by the locals the enemies will actually mimic human voices exactly what skinwalkers do in its respective lore and it could even transform into friendly npcs kind of like what mother miranda did in the beginning of resident evil village when spoiler alert when she took control of mia or when she became mia so the player has to observe their behavior and know that they are the enemy so i don't know if this is going to be like a multiple choice kind of resident evil game we've had that in resident evil 7 when we had to make the choice between zoe and mia the forest is apparently creepy and disturbing lots of imagery there lots of ambience it's apparently very very easy to get lost to without a map and speaking of ambience there is going to be occasional times where you're going to hear someone walk behind you you're going to turn around and it's nothing there sometimes when you actually do turn around there's going to be actually something there this time so they're kind of playing the idea of pt here a bit it's super interesting so it seems like they're going back to again these are all rumors and leaks whatever it may be so they're kind of taking it out from pt's book a bit players can apparently force some doors open they can lock them we can barricade them we can use melee weapons that are breakable with one of the first bosses being a big giant black dog and yes we will have a main antagonist of course who is known by she it's a woman who walks around in a dress and that's all we pretty much know about her and who is respected by these mythological creatures we will get help from a mysterious woman or a bioweapon she will serve as our guide in the forest as we were talking about earlier she will tell you some of the histories of the forest and show you some treasures the puzzle pieces some keys so she's going to be like this kind of tutorial type of person because it also explains how there's going to be different combinations of herbs too which also makes sense as well because a lot of herbs are also used in a lot of witch lore as well to create spells and rituals and bring about positive of changes in your life can be used for protection and healing while also in native american culture it's actually used for medicinal reasons as well so they can definitely utilize the the herb usage in its lore and it's super cool to think about and the creatures also fear this woman so even though this woman is a protagonist the creatures actually fear her as much as they fear the antagonist which is super interesting because it sounds like the creatures actually respect them both even though they're both on two different sides that's super interesting to me who she is also going to to be in a save point and explains why you know these creatures cannot enter a save point because she will be in there maybe she has like some sort of spell around it maybe we'll see like some sort of pentagram or something surrounding the save point of some sort that keeps like the creatures away but while also having the actual scientific reasoning behind it i don't know i don't know if capcom would do that so as i was saying earlier though so the game will be called obviously resident evil 9 nicknamed apocalypse but it does have to do with the nine moon phases so the nine moon phases can actually trace back to a lot of different things depending on the culture so since the game is rumored to have native american culture in it the nine phases actually mean nine different phases in your life which can be from new beginnings symbolizes growth and expansion the full moon can be translated to spiritual emotional fulfillment so this could actually be like the nine phases of this particular virus maybe maybe two of these particular characters are already in their ninth phases and is why they're respected by these local mythological creatures i don't know i'm just guessing but these rumors and leaks were about from 2022 this all could have changed this is again this is all 
rumors at the end of the day and none of this is actually confirmed but it's still an interesting read as time went on we also got that there are five different resident evil titles being worked on at the same time there's five different re games being developed which i'm a little iffy about that one because although that can be true although they can be planned i don't think necessarily they're being developed i just think most of those games are just being talked about on paper some of these titles are probably not going to be released kind of like what happened with the situation with re outrage and just recently we had word of resident evil 9 being open world which kind of which kind of connects with all of these rumors only because there's going to be a lot of settings in the game there's going to be a town there's going to be a forest although it doesn't necessarily have to be open world i can definitely see it being open zone i preferably rather have it to be open zoned only because of how empty some open world games can feel sometimes having less is more and now let's talk about this quote-unquote new timeline that we just got a little bit a week ago a little bit of a week or two weeks ago and this is apparently a platinum titles lineup which we can see monster hunter rise sunbreak was june 30th 2022 the winter's expansion re4 street fighter 6 separate ways dragon's dogma 2 dragon's dogma 2 the dragon princess november 29th monster hunter wilds apparently the new resident evil is going to be called resident evil x then after is pragmata and monster hunter wilds now the reason why i wanted to bring this um timeline up is because even though i know this is 100 fake i doubt the name would be called resident evil x but this could be an accurate representation of when we can see the game come out again the screenshot is completely fake this was circulating all over twitter and i've seen it and people said it was real some people said it was not real i'm going for it's not real but this is still an accurate representation of when we can see re9 the person probably had all of this other stuff leaked who knows maybe the dragon's dogma stuff is real if, if this dragon's dogma dlc ends up being real you can expect all of this other stuff is real too is what i'm gathering but let's just focus on resident evil it can 100 be faked because you can actually say that yes resident evil 9 will come out in 2025 without having a sort of leak or anything we, we've all known this we all knew this is the time range in fact this is going to my next point is when can we expect an announcement of some sort and to me personally i think we're going to see something in the summertime which is pretty close because we're already in the springtime you know how the summer gets with all of these gaming events whether it's summer games fest whether it's sony well whichever it is i think we're going to see some sort of an announcement for resident evil 9 get a future trailer after that for an announced date of some sort for it to release in 2025 so again this could be and also let's talk about the name change for a bit i just feel like it just sounds really confusing to have an x just for the green to be highlighting the ix for a 9 so it's a 9 and a 10 at the same time i don't understand that or just simply put a 9 next to it i don't think anyone cares about any clever way to integrate the roman numeral 9 inside of the resident evil title i don't think anyone cares about that just slap a 9 on it and everyone will be completely fine with it or hell just get rid of the number stuff just have i don't know resident evil blank blank like apocalypse for example Although they should have a better name than Apocalypse because we already got Apocalypse. But let me know what you guys think. Are you excited for a potential Resident Evil 9? Do you think all of this is true? Do you think it's all fake? Let me know in the comments. And do you think we're going to get some sort of an announcement soon? If you enjoy the content, make sure to like the video. And if you're new to the channel, welcome in and be sure to subscribe. And most importantly, be sure to be nice to someone. You'll most likely make their whole week. But I'll catch you guys in the next one, everyone. Peace.